Good morning, hello and welcome to Building Bridges, a program where we discuss Chinese projects in the Republic of South Sudan. I am Medingwa and with me in the program are uh, HFA Manager, Diva Electrical Center, Company Limited, and Daniel John, Sales Manager in the same company. It is my pleasure to welcome the two of them to the studio, the Arab Radio, 87.6 FM, Feeds of South Sudan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Ray and Mr. Daniel. So I'll care. So I know, uh, thank you so much uh, for Radio Tera, for giving the nice opportunity for us, uh, Juba Electrical Center. I would like to give thanks. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let me begin with uh, Mr. H.U.F.A. Uh, uh, to tell us briefly about himself and, and the company. Welcome. Um, my name is uh, Mr. Hoshefe. Uh, we are so happy to come to a Tarab Radio Office at 87 the 6 4 a.m. We are very happy today. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, our company, Dubai Electrical Center, is uh, the power company in South Sudan, which do like uh, power power material supply of the big project in South Sudan. Also, we do the power maintenance, uh, power repair in South Sudan. Um, also, change is our company is uh, is a distributor of the Chint factory in South Sudan. Chint is a, is a big factory. We have like almost like 150 branches in the world. We bring the very clean power in South Sudan, like uh, solar system, like uh, like many, many of the good things in South Sudan. And uh, how long have you been around? When did uh, your company come to South Sudan? Well, for me, I have a South Sudanese name called <laughs> Mr. Fay. <laughs> um, was here 2010. Now I'm um, become a South Sudanese now. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> so since 2010, that is when the company has been operating. Yes, we registered our company in 2012 in South Sudan. And tell us about some of your projects in South Sudan. Uh, we have some projects is like uh, Chuba City Power. We are supplier of the jet coal. And we supply like a uh, transformer, like a uh, power cable. Also, we to do business with the UN, NGO, also is uh, some government project in South Sudan. And what is your experience uh, living and working in South Sudan for you? Um, yeah, yeah, of course, we have many good things in South Sudan. Uh, because here the people is, is very good because we have, you know, China with uh, South Sudan, we have friendship. We have many good friends in South Sudan. Uh, I feel South Sudan, we have uh, we have good chance because here is a new market. Uh, South Sudan also is grouping. We, we, we have the best things. So we have the future and the dream in South Sudan. And uh, tell me about the vision for your company. Okay. Or maybe uh, Daniel John can tell us about the vision, yeah, vision yeah, yeah. and the values. Uh, I hope welcome. give some chance for our company yeah, manager, thank Mr. You. Daniel. Thank you, Mr. Wading. Uh, our value, mostly we are focused on the, how to provide a, a good uh, technology in South Sudan for general, like uh, highest voltage and the lower voltage. Uh, and we're providing uh, the new technology uh, new technology of uh, electrical in South Sudan because as you see South Sudan now is devolving in the part of electrical. When can you tell me about the region? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the region of the region is Juba Electrical Center and I'll be providing a Kaharaba, a Lua Montayat Kaharaba. I'll be 
juda kwais au ba khalid to kwais haja al bagot zaman to il wa ikhtara juda al baji min shirkat chin shirkat chin fi china au bita balga haja del kulu fi juba electrical center cause our value we need to give a uh, new technology mostly to provide it in south sudan inta bada shakhal ma ma shirkat de miten and what has been your experience with yeah. the company yeah actually i started working in juba electrical center uh, in 2018 i started there as a student uh, i have uh, they teach me about the technology about, about the electrical things like uh, low voltage high voltage the high technology mm, i do my part i from there they transform me as a a storekeeper i started uh, they give me too much chance i can appreciate juba electrical center now i my experience on electrical i know many many things like uh, those if you come in the part of lights i know which light is quality which one is not quality and the chin product mostly that's what i know is very original and very standard yeah that's uh, how big is the company and roughly how many people are employed okay in juba electrical center we have uh, different parts in juba electrical center we have a uh, sales department and we have a uh, supply department and we have a uh, logistics and procurement those people who are looking for like those of marketing guys they are there uh, actually we have a uh, sales and sales manager we have almost like eight people and then we have some who are working suppliers for those, those big companies the one they need uh, we supply them and we have some bodies within the company yeah do you do we say that you are only operating in juba so far yeah for sure now our company uh, mostly the uh, the big uh, our main in juba now we are in juba now but uh, we hope uh, we hope we can devolve can go to the state but as long uh, we are devo de- even we are transfer our things there some people will make order like in malakal rumbek even in uh, bantu they will just make a order then we will just transfer to them and uh, there's always ups and downs in south sudan for instance 2013 2016 there were wars how did that affect your company yeah actually you know actually it can affect a lot it can affect you know first of all if uh, if something happen like that uh, sometimes transportation will be off uh, the road will be off you cannot supply the things or you cannot introduce your things to uh, other state of juba but it's okay it's okay as long it can happen just for time being but we have a uh, heart that we can provide every part of south sudan with their chin products through your the- own building bridges a program where we discuss chinese projects in the republic of south sudan i am adingor and with us in the program are ho shu shu fei who is manager Dubai Electrical Center Company Limited and Daniel John sales manager uh, at Dubai Electrical Center and we are speaking about the experience working in South Sudan what will you say uh, is the biggest advantage uh, you are saying that uh, Mr Fay you are saying that South Sudan is a growing market uh, is it profitable working in south sudan uh, yeah of course you know just now you ask a question about our our sales manager mr daniel he talked about the issue in south sudan like 2013 2016 but i think that the issue should be finished even now because we have the dream we have the future in south sudan you know when people you have the dream and the future of course we can stay here sometimes the issue should be finished and uh, also not only my company to my electrical center i think it's many chinese company is they have a dream they have future in south sudan this is why we are here and uh, also um, you know I, i have another work is working for uh, like like chama commerce office uh, chinese uh, business office in san sudan i'm working in the office for me i know the information uh, south sudan is uh, is uh, because from 2011 up to now is just a few years of course should be 
grouping. I'm here almost like 15 years. Uh, I think uh, everything should be okay. And uh, what is the experience of the Chinese companies working in South Sudan? Yeah, yeah. The some Chinese company because of the of the company play, maybe is uh, left South Sudan. But uh, for me, I know is many Chinese company. They still in South Sudan. They just uh, try the best in South Sudan. We just uh, hope uh, grouping. Uh, with South Sudan together. Uh, since you are growing South Sudan, uh, you have become part of South Sudan. What are some of your activities uh, with the communities of South Sudan, like what they call corporate social responsibility? Yes, yes, of course, because this uh, every Chinese company should be not only in South Sudan, even in China. Also, we have a company uh, a company branch in Uganda or Kenya. We must be to do the the good things for for the company. It. Like uh, every year, every year we have uh, we, we, we have some uh, some support for for the community school. Uh, we support like uh, clothes, shoes, the school, the school bags, uh, many things. Every year we just just try our best in South Sudan. Uh, there are challenges uh, for electricity. Uh, how big is your solar supply, for instance, uh, Daniel? Yeah, for supply of the new technology, if you talk about uh, the new branch of uh, solar system in South Sudan, because as long now we have a JETCO, JETCO is leading in uh, electrical. Uh, for the green uh, power is still in South Sudan, because we are normally, most of us uh, within Juba, we are using city power. But within Juba, some are using solar. That's it. But uh, for that issue, is still because uh, still we are devolving. There's a development going on. That's mm -hmm. what I know in part of electrical. And uh, how are the customers finding your prices and also the value for your products? Yeah, for the, our customers, we have many customers and many clients. Because uh, we offer uh, quality things and we do our best. Uh, for the quality, because uh, customers, they first, they take our items, they know it, house it, like a bulb, the ordinary bulb, it can stay for you for the long. Then they value it, uh, even we give them the fair prices, because we are a company, we cannot give a high prices to the market. And guarantee, you provide guarantees? Yeah, we have a guarantee uh, for the lights, we have guarantee almost going to two years, three years, is a guarantee, even for solar, solar panels and the batteries and some electrical materials. We have a guarantee. Uh, where would you like to operate uh, some years from now? What are some of the company targets? Any of you can answer that. Yeah, for us uh, as a company, Juba Electrical Center, we have a plan that uh, through the development of uh, electrical in South Sudan, we wish that uh, we have uh, some branches we can open in some state like uh, Western Bargazal, those of Bantu, Western Equatoria. We can make uh, our main company there. Maybe Mr. Fe can give some. Wait. And before we go to him, uh, you talk about the fact that you started working with the company as a student. Yeah. Uh, are there others who are like you, or are you the only exception? Yeah. And would you recommend to the company to train as many yeah. South Sudanese youth yeah. as possible? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I started with this company as a student. Um, too young that time. By that time. Uh, I'm not the only guy because uh, there is some, sometimes there is a student come from Juba University. Uh, they came to our company. They want to know our materials. Then we can just uh, check from them. We just see uh, that one have experience. We can just employ. I'm not the only one. We have many teams. Uh, within the teams, they are the best. There's a best who know about the electrical and they are giving good service to the customers. And Mr. Fay, do you intend on giving more opportunities to South Sudanese young people? Yeah, of course, because you know, uh, you, you know, before I have a job in China, I'm a teacher in China school. I know students sometimes the life not easy. 
Nazi needed support. This is why I like, uh, like Mr. Daniel or another the, the young student. When they come to our company, yeah, of course we support them the chance uh, in the market because they needed. Uh, Mr. Daniel is a, is a very very good student those days. Now he's become our company manager. Uh, he know our products. He know our power system. He know our company the managers. That is a very good a very good person. Yeah, yeah, yes. And uh, going forward, uh, the relations between China and South Sudan. Uh, what advice will you give to the two governments, uh, two countries, in order uh, to grow? Uh, business relations between the two countries? Well, this is a big question. And you uh, are a big person. I, <laughs> no, no, I, I just... Uh, it's a question for the Chamber of Commerce because uh, constantly there is improvement that has to happen. Yeah, 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 of course, because uh, I think uh, many people already know now in in China we have the, the, the big meeting uh, with the Africa, of Africa, all governments. Uh, we have good chance. And also, for me, I know in South Sudan, also many, uh, many things we can do in we can do to do the, the business cooperation within two countries. For me, I know in South Sudan you have uh, anybody know is uh, is uh, like a pet petroleum. This is a good business now. Is starting is still still working. Even for another, for me, I know like uh, the honey in South Sudan. Before I was the young bio. oh very nice, very nice honey. I like so I like so much. <laughs> Even uh, two two months ago, my wife come here. Also, she likes so much. Even I'm thinking, you know, I'm a business. I'm thinking if I try, I put the the the, the, the factory. I I made this honey. Then going to China. I think also is a good chance. Like those good things, like honey. These good things in South Korea is many. I think it is a good chance. And they like it also in uh, Japan, as I understand. Yeah. They like South <laughs> Sudanese honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So you are hopeful about, about the future between the two countries. The future is bright uh, as far as the cooperation, business cooperation is concerned. How do you overcome the cultural challenges uh, of language barrier? What would you say about that? Sometimes many of the Chinese companies working here, they don't barely speak English and speak local languages. Also, also this, this is a good chance for some students, uh, some uh, South Sudanese students study in, in China un, un, University. You know, those, those uh, South Sudanese, they know Chinese language. This is a good chance for, for, for those students of South Sudanese. When after university in China, they come back to South Sudan, they can do the, the, the very good work in, in China for Chinese company. For me, I know our people, uh, many people can speak some English, but not, uh, not too much. Uh, this is also like me. If you ask me some professional question, maybe I just keep quiet because I'm not to understand. Maybe just uh, fifty percent. I understand. I think this also is a good chance. Uh, also, for me, I know is in South Sudan, our government is supporting your university or some place. I, I had is giving you scholarships. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Also, can teach Chinese language in South Sudan here. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good proposal. Just like Dubai Electrical Center, they decided that they will focus only in that area. <laughs> <laughs> For my company, we just hope is, uh, you know, because just now you ask one question is about uh, what you think we can fail in is difficult in South Sudan because for me, I just feeling. Uh, I hope many uh, South, so South Sudanese students should be going to school, study uh, the many things. For 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 my company, we just hope is many is some students can study the technology of the power. 
Mm. Uh, when finish the uh, university, then mm. can come to market. Everybody, everybody can do this technology work. Yes, they can even start their own company. Yes, uh, and, yes, and yeah. push you out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are happy if you push, push me out. We are happy because the me is the South Star is strong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is there any last thing you would like to add? Uh, you like to say to our listeners and maybe on how they can access your products yeah. and where you are located? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, Juba Electrical Center is located in Melekia behind Eden Bank. This is our main uh, shop uh, and our main office there for anyone who want to visit us or to want to get a chin product. You can just come to Eden Bank. You just get our address there, our signpost. I think. Yeah. How are chin materials compared to the others price wise in terms of prices and, and the competition? What would you say about your prices? Are they competitive? Yeah, actually. Yeah. You know, in market, uh, in market, we, we are not all the same because uh, there is many, many companies in South Sudan giving their products, like those of ABB, Havals, and many companies. For chin products, uh, we know, of course, we trust our material. We trust our material. Uh, for the prices, we are giving uh, normal prices, the wholesale prices. For example, if you need like a uh, the lower voltage, those small switches, we can give you the fair prices. It cannot be high prices. Because we are a company, we cannot offer high prices. If the normal shop, you can give it. Uh, chin product uh, actually is very good. You know why I say very good? Because sometimes now in some houses in Juba, let me say within the logo here, uh, you can build a standard home, but you cannot give the quality things like a switches. In part of fire, or if it's burnt, you, you cannot even have a yeah, uh, fire extinguisher. Yeah, fire extinguisher is not there. But for chin product, I uh, have a good quality. Even have a, uh, like, let me say, for example, if there is a fire on it, it cannot burn easily. Like, just fire like, resistant. Yeah, fire resistant. Most of our products like this one, even our bulbs. Our bulbs, for example, uh, if you need to burn, uh, it cannot burn just like, it can give you almost like one week. That's what I know. LED bulb, normal bulb can give you one week if it can just give you some signs. Then it cannot burn, it can just be off. Yeah, but mostly it cannot do that after two years. That's what I know. Because now in our company, we have lights working day, night, day, night. You cannot even switch it off. It's still, because we are giving quality to our, to our people. Because now South Sudan is devolved, we need to give quality things. We cannot uh, give just normal things. Uh, Mr. Daniel John, thanks for being on the program. Thank you. Maybe Thank you. if you have a last thing to say uh, to those who are listening to you, those who will be watching you, and... Any last thing you would like to share about your company? Yeah, we we want to say thanks so much uh, for uh, Turbo Radio Office uh, eighty seven point twenty six for M. Give us chance. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, and that brings us to the end of building bridges. And with us have been Mister uh, Hu Chui Fei, who is manager Dubai Electrical. Center and Mr. Daniel John, sales manager in the same company. Uh, thank you very much for your contribution you. to the program.